Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. So, my original plan was to unbox the Master Grade 1 to 100 scaled RX 78 2 Gundam The Origin, but then I realized I also have the high grade Universal Sentry of the same mobile suit, and I thought I should unbox this smaller scale RX 78 2 before the master grade version. So this one you're looking at, it is the RX 78 2 that we are all very familiar with and it is also a prototype close combat mobile suit form. The reason why I have purchased this model kit is because Although it is a high grade uh, Universal Sentry uh, model kit, but this RX 78 2 is also um, very well designed. It also has a lot better um, articulation comparing to the standard high grade or the entry grade version. And I believe this high grade Universal Sentry version will also give me the exposure to building the RX 78 2 before I would lay my hand on the Master Grade 1 to 100 scale of the RX 78 2, the origin. So, this kit is not that big, so hopefully, it won't take me that long to complete. I haven't actually seen the inside content of the Gundam kit because it is still fully sealed inside the box. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll be doing a strict build or I will be doing airbrushing um, to the Gundam kit. I guess I will have my answer once I open the box to see the actual parts on the runners. So without further ado, let me show you guys the external packaging. So first of all, you can see a really nice photo or a drawing of the RX 78 2. I'm sure we all are very, very familiar with this Gundam. As I mentioned, this is a high grade Universal Sentry. RX 78 2, and this one specifically is the EFSF prototype close combat version. It was made in 2015, made in Japan by Bandai Spirit, and it also features the blue Bandai logo. So, let's take a look at the left hand side of the packaging. This is number 191 of the High Grade Universal Sentry series. You have the usual Gundam Info web link. You've got the drawing of the RX 78 2, and it tells you this is a 1 to 144 scale RX 78 2, and it's exactly the same on the right hand side. So at the bottom, you have the front and rear view of the Gundam. There's a little bit of information about the RX 78 2. And as you can see on this photograph, you can see it has much better articulation comparing to the standard high grade RX 78 2 Gundam. And it also features the open hand as well which is nice and this one also come with all of those weapons including the shield the beam rifle the cannon as well as the beam saber which is very nice here you can see all the additional parts and there's also close fist and the one with the trigger finger as well as left and right open hand as well very very cool and you also get two beam saber full-size shield 
beam rifle and here the photo show you the additional articulation towards the torso the elbow as well as the shoulder so those are the reason why i have decided to pick up this kit i just like the extra articulation and also it has open hands and full weapons as well perfect so let's take a look at the top side so here there's some brief information about the Auric 78-2 so the overall height is 18 meters tall it weighed 43.4 ton and including all of those weapons it weighed about 60 tons and then you have the power 1380 kilowatts and build material Gundarium and the 60 millimeter cannon as well and here are some information about the Auric 78-2 and the usual Bandai Spirit company information so let's take a look at the inside content shall we here we go for the first time And as always, I always forget to give you guys the dimension of the external packaging. So let's take a quick look. The width of the box is just under 30 centimeters. The depth of the box is just under 19 centimeters. And the, the profile is about six centimeters. So it is a relatively small box, but hopefully we still have a fair amount of parts inside for the RX-78-2. I'll leave the cover here. Oops. Here we go. Right. So straight away you can see the runners inside the box and the first bag looks really colorful so let's take a look the first bag it contains three different runners first one are the gray ones which are just poly caps and then the second one you have the the bims for the beam saber that's in a translucent red or pink color and then the main runner containing various color you have the blue you have the red the yellow and the translucent yellow as well so the translucent yellow you can see that is the eye unit right there and then the beam saver beam the yellow parts they are quite nice so you have the the sensor for the beam rifle and you have the cross on the shield you have the panel underneath the head unit as well as some vents for the chest as well as for the front body skirt and then the red part you can see the shield right there and you also have the the foot the sole area and the torso and you also have the part of the head unit there as well Pretty cool, very colorful, and I like the color separation already. Next, 
and it's the final bag there's only two bags so inside the second bag straight away you can see the sticker so you have the eye unit there's also two silver reflective stickers and you also have the the red with the v-shaped sticker as well as two square red stickers as well so it looks like this kit doesn't come with the color separation parts for the V which is right here but that's okay this is a high grade universal sentry Gundam kit after all so inside this bag you have the kind of milky white color runner it's actually white but with a tinge of yellow I don't know if you guys will be able to tell through the camera but that is the color that I could see it's white with yellow and basically they are all the external armor as well as those circles for all the hinges you have the head antennas the back of head unit front of head unit you have the front skirt armor I think that might be the rear one I'm not 100% sure this is the part where you will have the the red background with the yellow V and then you have the the main shield here as well it's pretty cool and then on the flip side you have the grey colour runner and here straight away you can see the the cannon you can see the beam rifle the handle the tip of the beam rifle, the outwards facing sensor, there are two thrusters, there are some hinges, the hip, the backpack, handle for the weapon, there are more hinges here, and then you have your closed fist. Actually, those two put together are the trigger finger on the on the right, right hand. You have the left and right closed fist for holding the beam saber. You also have the open hands as well. And then here you have got more uh, internal body structures and the handle for the big cannon as well. It's very cool doesn't look like there's too many parts and having a good look of the all the parts on the runners I think I will definitely airbrush this kit even though on the red parts you can't really see any Oh, actually you can you can see the the shrink marks of the plastic right there Ooh, slightly out of focus so you can see there are some marks here and there as well so I'll definitely airbrush the red part and there's also a stress mark on the backpack as well so I will be airbrushing the blue parts the poly caps I'm not going to touch them they can stay as they are the beams I'll probably leave them alone as well I might give them a polish to give it a matte finish just my personal preference you don't have to do that the yellow they look okay but it looks a little bit shiny so if I'm going to airbrush the, the red parts I will definitely airbrush the yellow as well 
just to match the finishing and there's not that many parts to be honest so it should be easy enough to do the clear parts I will leave it as clear and I will apply this sticker for the eyes as well the the white with a light tinge of yellow runner I think I will leave them as they are the color looks pretty nice I don't want to change them to a standard Gundam white I quite like that slightly off-white color so I will leave them and at most I might airbrush a layer of the matte clear to give it a matte finish but I will decide that later on and then the internal parts as well as the weapons I will definitely airbrush them to a metallic color I think they will look quite nice afterwards and that's all the runners and then what left inside the box is just the instruction manual and then empty cardboard box so the instruction manual front cover you have the nice photograph or maybe it's a CG of the RX 78-2 looks rather nice definitely they have done the the coloring for the kit and here you have got those information about the RX 78-2 and then the usual information that we have already mentioned earlier and unlike the external box here right here this one has the newer blue bandai logo and the instruction menu still has the red bandai logo the back cover you can see the same gundam in different posts and they do show off the articulation of the arm as well as the double joint on the kneecap and the articulation for the foot the torso twist as well or the apt crunch and also striking this pose is pretty cool especially with the open hand I do like the open hands a lot here you can see that again and then background information about the Gundam and then the color guide is mainly just five colors and it also show you how to mix the color as well with the different percentage but I won't be following that I will just be picking my favorite of those color to apply it onto the Gundam so flip it open you have more color printing which is nice it's more information about the RX 78-2 that's all written in Japanese and then there's more photo of the head unit and the Gundam itself this looks pretty cool and then the instruction so from step 10 is all in color and then the inside is just black and white here you have some tips or technique of cutting out the parts from the runner and then the checklist of those runners and I've noticed under the checklist they didn't show the sticker normally they would and let's have a closer look there's no 
across this on the runner so it means you will be using all of those parts and then the pretty straightforward easy to follow step-by-step -step guide to build the Aurig 78-2 and here if you would like to put the Gundam on a action base then you will require your own because this kit doesn't come with the action base pretty cool so let me just put the kit back in it's only two bags nice and easy I kind of wish that they have insert a photograph of the actual Gundam without any colouring but it should look similar to that after we've seen those parts on the runners it looks like they've done all of the colour separation for us already all is required is just to add the panel lines and since I will be airbrushing this Gundam so hopefully the outcome of it will look just as good if not better than this so I hope you guys enjoyed this fairly quick unboxing video of the Aurix 78-2 if you guys have any questions or comment please feel free to add them in the comment box below and I'll come back to you very quickly if you like this unboxing video please give me a like if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider to, to subscribe to my channel as well and you will be notified of any upcoming new videos if you also ring the notification bell thank you for you guys for, of your support it would definitely help with my channel to grow further so until next time or until when i have the arik 78-2 gundam complete have fun with your model kit and as always good luck with your collection of your model cars i will see you guys in my next video take care for now bye guys <laughs>